In this screencast, I'll show you how to use the NRTL activity model to calculate ternary VLE data. So the equations that we need to use to in order to do this are shown here, and it's all broken down with these uh, phi equations and the, these theta equations, just to simplify things. So within Excel, in this sheet here, I've got all of the binary interaction parameters for each of the binary pairs. So this is the data for acetone methanol, this is for acetone water, and this is for methanol water. And we've also got alpha values here as well. So again, we've got a range of different liquid compositions, and for each of these we calculate Tor12, Tor21, right across the six different permutations of this. We then need to calculate all these different g values according to the equations that we have so first of all these tor and g values are just being based on these two simple equations here we then have theta values based upon these and sorry so these are these are phi values based upon the g values and the, the liquid compositions and then theta ones that are based again but this time basically upon G values and X values and Tor values. Once we've calculated all of these out we can then implement the overall formula to give us gamma 1, 2 and 3. The partial pressures for the three components are again given by the modified Routes law where we use the activity coefficient, the liquid mole fraction and the Antoine equation. So we've got the Antoine constants again. We sum those up to give us the total pressure and then we can also calculate the vapor mole fractions for each of these using Dalton's law. Okay, so uh, as usual the temperature here has been varied in order to give us the pressure that we're after. So I've selected 760 millimeters of mercury in this instance uh, because that's the pressure which I've got some literature data and I can make a comparison. So again just a quick bit of revision on ternary plots we've got three axes and for this example it's 10% acetone, 10% methanol, 80% water. The water axis is the one that runs across like this and then methanol runs down here diagonally, acetone runs up this way diagonally so each data point represents a different uh, composition. Ternary plot here, we have the liquid data in red, red crosses with a red line through them. The vapor, vapor, the vapor data points calculated from NRTL, shown in blue, and the black squares represent the literature values that correspond to these different liquid compositions. And you can see. A reasonable match, they are out in, in some places. I think some of the later plots are a little bit more sort of convincing in terms of how good the fit is. As you can see, we can go through different uh, compositions of acetone and see what happens over a range of, of these values. So, this is f finish off with the 80% acetone and, and just see how that performs. Right, so uh, this is the literature data. That I used in those ternary plots and just overall that is a, a screencast showing how to use NRTL activity model to calculate ternary VLE.